All right, here we have a Ween or a Win W E N nine inch bandsaw tabletop model B A three nine five nine. Mainly going to use this for cutting my firewood and stuff, like the logs and stuff. I do have a wood splitting axe, but it's a pain to use. It's not really made for splitting wood, even though that's what it's supposed to do. It doesn't. The real axe would be better. So I use this to like cut the wood in half and stuff so it can fit in my wood stoves. Anything that's too big that it too big for it to cut will go in the fire pit. Got a big box over there. I organized the garage earlier and I had several boxes of firewood and just organized everything into that big box over there. I'll show you real quick the kind of logs I'm talking about cutting. Now you're gonna use it to cut this stuff. It's supposed to be able to cut up to three and a half inches thickness. So anything that's too thick will go in the fire pit. Because the wood stoves can only take like so long of wood and a lot of the wood as is is too long to fit in there. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box and see what we have to assemble. Alright, let's go ahead and open this box and see what we're in for. Use my Harbor Freight knife. I can use a new blade. Instructions. A little fence or guide. Adjustment knobs, wrenches, nice they included tools. Not a part of the fence. Your plate. I believe nine inches refers to the width. You know it says you can cut up to three and a half inches. This is the actual unit. So it's pretty much 99% assembled. Comes with a blade. I bought some different types of blades for it though too. The blade is literally just one continuous loop. You can use this little window here to guide the blade, make sure it's tracking correctly on the pulley. Now let's just open it. There's the business end. Bends like this, and that's what turns the blade. Get the motor down there, that turns the bottom of the wheel. Because with a brush, to brush the debris off. Keep the blade nice and clean. Uses 59 and a half inch blades from 1 8 to I think 3 8 inch diameter, or width anyway. Now uh, you got different teeth ratio, TPI, depending on what you're cutting, metal, different types of wood. I bought some uh, six TPI blades, six teeth per inch, I believe is what it stands for. These here are your tracking, allows you to adjust how much force is on it. If the blade starts slipping, you don't want too much force, you don't want too little either. It's too much and you'll break the weld. Safety switch. Pull this little yellow tab out, and it can't accidentally be started. Let's remove to lock. So, little desktop model, made for bench top. So, 
So I'll look at the instructions, see what it says to do, if there's like a break in or something. 2.8 amps, 2500 RPM, or feet, or actually feet per minute, FPM. 9 inch throat, cutting depth 3.5 inches, weighs about 40 pounds. Serial number. So, I'll assemble this, look at the instructions, and then we'll see if we can cut something with this to give it a test. Alright, it's all assembled. Fence, miter gauge, adjust the tension a little bit. That was an adjustment you gotta do every time you do, like if you adjust the tension, then you gotta adjust the bearings. We'll see, it's turned on. Put into this cord, see what happens when I plug it in. I can't reach an outlet at the moment. I can move some stuff out of the way real quick. Alright, it's all assembled. Got the fence miter gauge in. Adjusted the tension, adjusted the bearings. I got it set, it's turned on. So we're just going to bump it and see what happens real quick. Can the garage handle this stupid thing? And I want to plug in. Zoom out. Plug is being stupid. Ran. Seems like it's slow to start. I don't know if the tension's still too tight. It says counterclockwise to loosen. That's what I'm doing. Blade should have no more than 10 millimeters of flex, it said. So, I don't know what 10 millimeters is. It's flexing pretty much the same amount. Eh, whatever. Let me put this camera back on the tripod and let's just see what happens if we try to cut something. If it doesn't explode on us. Alright, got a piece of firewood on it. I'm gonna cut it in half. Try to. Hopefully, it doesn't shatter. Let's see what happens. So cut in the half, no problem. Tighten it just so slightly. Let's see what happens when I try to cut it lengthwise.
Took a little bit of effort that way, but it's cut in half. That's mainly what I want it for is to do stuff like that. So that, that'll fit my wood stove. Let's do one more piece. like that. Lay's not hot. Probably leave it at that tension, I guess. <sighs> Zoom in here. Supposed to like 10 millimeters of flex this way. And this top bearing inside here that one up there it's supposed to be five millimeters away from the back of the blade it's right on the blade you'd loosen this screw then kind of push this back a little bit or forwards depending on the blade then you got these two side wash guide ro rollers it works it cut this way, and it cut this way. This way took a little bit more effort, but you know it's thicker that way. I think this is, I think this is what you call, this might, I think is ripping. So, so, so ripping always takes more effort because you're going against the grain. I think. E either, yeah, I think this is ripping. I forget, it's been a while. So. It works. And I'm happy. Sawdust. So, try doing this with that axe. It'll take me all damn days to do one piece like this. Now they'll perfectly fit in my wood stove. So, that's a success. And I said anything that's too thick for this goes in the fire pit. 